Hi there, this video is for next week's very extreme carry on extreme warm weather forecast UK. 20 of like this video. That's the funds on the left side of the screen. The date today is, wow, you name it, guys, the 3rd of October, Tuesday, 23 across the UK. Right now, this is my local weather data across the point in time we're looking at right now. Blue colour is the rainfall. Red colour is the temperature in the morning I'll be called. So this year, September, has been slightly wetter than normal, above average, I would say. Quite a wet September. And uh, bizarrely, you know, it's one of the warmest Septembers um, on record uh, since, well, you name it, 1895 across the UK. Especially towards the end of te uh, September, or high 28 Celsius across uh, Norfolk, which is incredible, guys. 33 point, you name it, 3 Celsius around London Gatwick Airport in the first week of September. It's incredible, guys. September 23 is getting really quite a hot one compared to last year's September, which is interesting. And yes, it's hotter in September since it was hottest, hotter than June. You can see that, guys, the morning temperature, which is incredible for this year. You can see the difference this September this year compared to last September. It was definitely two points cooler last September. That was actually wetter. Now that might be why, which is interesting, of course, working town locally, which is fascinating. This is the rainfall for the last, well, you know, 23 years, not 22 years. And you can see down here, see the uh, rainfall for this year. It's one of the, the what the wet, it's not as wet as last year. It's actually drier than last year, September, but it's one of the wettest, well, above average term rainfalls we've had since 2019, which is 79 minutes rain, which is interesting. So, yeah, it's fascinating the way we're working town locally. So, that's that, guys. Love we'll data for you today. This is the upper globe sea temperature today. Closest to interest today, this coast of South America, East Pacific, West Coast Pacific Ocean, North Pacific Ocean, upper globe sea temperature, North Atlantic Ocean, upper globe sea temperature, North Coast to Africa, upper globe sea temperature, and the Gulf of Mexico, upper globe sea temperature. Wow! And then you get better, guys, when the weather getting hotter and warmer across the world globally. And yes, you are talking about a very strong East, um, name it, Eastern part. Pacific, um, well, Super El Nino going on at the moment, or El Nino Jokio. And yes, the cold pool here is connected to this cold pool TP, it's interesting. And the dipole across the Indian Ocean is positive at the moment. We've got cooler upper global descent, much across the east, and the west is quite hot. And when we had this last time, it was 2019 autumn, which uh, made, had a very warm and mild December 2019 to 2020. Ball projects of doom, which is not a good sign. But it's not that strong, so I don't think it'll be like that. I think with our new joke here, I think it'll be a repeat of 2010, January or 2024 across the UK. Weather forecast because not in Europe, but it's nine weather forecast, could be wrong. And it's one of the hottest oceans up globe sea temperatures across the Atlantic since 1895, which is interesting, guys. I'm not joking. That's that. This is the upper air temperature because we're from town local today, we're looking at today, which is fascinating, guys. And the red line is a 30 average line. And your eyes not deceived me, going up to 25 Celsius up air temperature by day is coming. We name it Saturday the 7th October to the 8th and the 9th October now across uh, working time locally this is guys which is fascinating I did predict it last week on next week's extreme Indian summer weather forecast more than 85% right when it comes to 25 Celsius Indian hot, hot summer weather forecast across the UK across working time especially and to about rain from spikes here none of these might be thunderstorms and thundery showers but the thunderstorms we had yesterday which I did predict before anyone else did as usual and the office is slow and this is the American 12 GFS prediction guys of the future which about the 16th of October 17th of October the back winds coming from the southwest there. Then northwesterly winds start to come in. Got a high pressure winning over Greenland, which is interesting. And then you talk about present time, talk about high pressure to the south, the UK getting quite quite strong, source high, building up from the south. Very hot air coming up from the south there. Very hot air. I mean unusual. It's very rare to see charts like this in October. This late in October into it's bizarre. In well, it late alone mid in October. It's incredible southwesterly winds. Quite a certain way across the north parts of the northwestern parts of the UK will be quite wet. And then you've got very uh, low pressure coming there, so it gets very wet on the 14th so to the southeast and southern regions. But it stays quite warm with the southeast and southern regions. There will be a little bit of cool down next Wednesday, which is fascinating across the UK potentially uh, next week. Um, but yeah, it's all to play for, guys. And you talk about high pressure building over Greenland called Northern Blocking, which is fascinating, isn't it? Absolutely fascinating. And this is the upper air temperature. You've got 20 Celsius upper air temperature coming across the southeast of some regions. This is where forecast working tanks, see what's going on in two days. 35 Celsius potentially possible this weekend. You see it's staying quite warm in the future. This is the, um, you name it, Arctic Oscillation. When that's negative, that means you've got high pressure over Greenland, which means northern blocking for the future. Same with the Arctic Oscillation. They're both in agreement. And um, North Atlantic and Arctic Oscillation, that's the Toronto Storm Philippine. That's what's going on. Like this video, please subscribe to the channel on Sunday Jones and watch this video because I'm going to get 5% right about the climate, guys, and what's going on in the global weather around the world. Please subscribe to the channel on Sunday Jones. Smile, be happy. Bye.